Rider number one. You know as soon as you drop in? Jackson Riddle. <laughs> you start feeling that. You wind against your face. You feel your tires carving through that dirt. Three, two, one. That feeling that you can't really get any other way. I'm not really sure how to feel. <laughs> yeah. yeah dude. Home is where? In St. George, Utah. Definitely feels like home. So yep. they did a good job with that. I'm one of the co-founders and creators of Red Bull Rampage. This was just an event conceived to basically let riders prove themselves before the real game show begins in a few weeks out in Utah. You think like one pedal into the berm, roll up? Some people are just pumping it. So they land that good? They land that good and they're pumping the berm and well. pumping up. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Way to send it. Went a little deep, kind of harsh, but Jackson went pretty, got it. Jackson went pretty far, man. Didn't quite need the push Can crank on top. Nah. Huh? It looked like you sailed a little <laughs> yeah. bit. I just didn't want to case it. No. Hell yeah. Yo. Yeah, so Johnny. Sick. Yep. Is it from hitting the drop, you think? Just rebound. It's like right when I hit the lip, it was just like, Let's oh, like slam down. Rider! That sucks. So, guinea the drop and went a little deep. Um, oh, hey, T Mac. Broke my fork. You can either run mine or you can ask Mirzo T for one. Oh, that's for so Yeah, if they say no, though, you can run. Oh, I'm never having a problem at home. Come here and shit hits the fan. Same problem. Yeah. yeah. No way yeah. the drop? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I guess he went deep and everything on his bike blew up. Some He's oh. really good, that dude. Really good. Yeah, yeah, this is the first time I've seen him ride. Jackson Riddle. Yeah, <laughs> really good. He broke his bike. I mean, we could. Yeah. Let's see. We could put a fork on there if I got one. Here, yeah, I feel got free. One. You can throw in that stand, and we can All right. we'll figure it out right here. Just rip that one off, measure it, and then we can cut this one, and then uh, get you installed. Go ahead, say. Tapered. Okay. Um. I don't know if you have time to maybe go to a bike shop or go cruise around the pits and see if somebody's got a race that's gonna be a tapered for an uh, inch and an eighth. Yeah, we won't really be able to make it work without that. These guys tried to give me a fork, but it was the wrong steer tube. Just sitting around, I guess. Yeah, it's just frustrating. Been almost half the day, even you know, kind of figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> then you got to get your head back on the straight. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. I think the dudes from Transition might have one. If I can, I want to try to ride a little bit tonight. All right, sweet. Thanks, man. He's coming That's in like 45 minutes. Oh. I was in the air for a minute. I was like, whoa, this is big. Kind of scared me. Oh yeah, when he went off that. Somebody's from Transition had an extra bike and we had to figure out a headset, but looks like it's going on pretty good and hopefully it works out. On the bike, try to get it rolling again. Sick, eh? There's a lot at stake here and all these riders are trying to differentiate themselves to stand out above the rest, hopefully in the top three to get one of those coveted spots into Rampage. It's definitely going to be a catapult for three riders' careers out here. The big question that's on all of our minds is which three riders? It's kind of like a sidewalk to the moon.
That's the number one plate. What does that mean so far? Going first, being the first one to drop on Sunday. Sick, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for was. sure you would be. If you didn't take your foot off, see you later. Dude, hey. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. With flash. So hey. 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 <laughs> Jackson Riddle. He's the future. He's the future. The future go. Seems like today is even colder. Cause this morning was pretty cold. Yeah. Uh, run down on the scores. Scores are 1 through 100. We're doing on four different uh, criteria. Degree of difficulty, tricks and style, fluidity, and amplitude. So same as Rampage. Uh, rock and roll. You guys have fun today. I'm just going to do your number plate, your name, three, two, one, and at one, and then you can roll anytime you want. Your voice gets me nervous. <laughs> Come on, don't say that. <laughs> I'm usually more nervous than you guys in this, you know? I'm just hoping everyone gets down safe and it's fun. Like, I don't want to make you nervous. <laughs> You're the voice of Rampage. Yeah, yeah, you are the voice of Rampage. It's headwind, though. I know, it's such, I'm just trying to feel better. Are you warming up for a big old no footer? Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I'm just going to be happy. Dude, like the last couple of mornings, we had this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Good morning. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, it's good. It's going to be good, dude. All right, so the course starts out ladder bridge. Amicall dropping course preview. Some of the feet to the feet. Oh, right. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Jackson. <laughs> Just a little windy. I don't know about the big drop. <laughs> See how the wind is down there. Can I get a clear bottom to top? Yeah, Jackson. Yeah. Rider number one. Jackson Riddle. Three, two, one. Sounds like there's a couple riders in the start gate at the top of the course, ready to drop if the wind cooperates. The top five looks like this. Billy Meeklem from New Zealand with a 62.5. Jackson Riddle, 68.62. He's only .13 away from a transfer spot into Rampage. Alex Volkov is in third place, currently holding on to that final transfer spot. Bienvenido Aguado Alba in second with a 71.5. And Reed Boggs, is still holding it down with that 73.75. A lot of changes with the weather. Obviously, there's some sort of storm system pushing in. We're having a manual and stoppy contest up there now. How many pedal turn you can do when you're on your fourth wheel? And I like to think that the story of Marzocchi <laughs> Proving Grounds will be one of ups and downs, ending on a big old up of a great event. We've had sick weather all week, and now it just screws us over on contest day. Bummer. Uh, I still have this amount of faith. It'll happen. If it stops raining in like 20 ish minutes, it still has like two hours to drive and then we can ride. You got your run, I need my run. So we are moments away from actually kicking this contest back off. The light right now is insane, and I don't know. We might be experiencing a bit of magic hour. The next run we see will be a judged run from Mexico's Johnny Salido. Three, two, one. 
<laughs> All right, people. Smooth off the top two drops. Looks like a big can can, a one footed can. Awesome Superman seat grab, super extended. Suicide no hander off the Marzocchi bomber drop and a huge flat spin, 450. Great run in the bag for Johnny Salito. Johnny Salito just lit this place up. And getting that feeling here at Proving Grounds is just a taste of what it feels like to make it from top to bottom at Red Bull Rampage. This is the perfect stepping stone for that. The next rider who's getting ready to drop is Jackson Riddle, the young rider, just 17 years of age. Where's my brother? He needs to get Jackson to go. Jackson. Does know what happened with Jackson? I'm not sure. I think he opted out of his run because it got windy right when they called him. This is a message to Jackson Riddle. Buddy, I really think you should do your run. Jackson opted to not take his second run. I would highly encourage you to get back up the course. See if you can take that coveted final third spot into the big show. Johnny Salito moving into the second spot with a 72. This is getting exciting. Now this is what we came to see out here. All right, we have big news up here. DJ Brand moving into the third spot. Cameron, as soon as you deliver that news, I heard an eruption of celebration from that finish corral. You know DJ Brand is feeling so good about that. That was the final run of the competition. Our results are sealed. The Red Bull Rampage invitations earned here at Marzocchi Proving Grounds will go to DJ Brandt, Johnny Salito, and Reed Boggs. The competition was great due to the circumstances with weather. Uh, got delayed a couple hours, so that made it hard for us. Um, really draining mentally. It just didn't feel right. To be safe, I just rode down. I feel I could have done better, but I had a stressful week, so I'm just glad to put down a run. I'm happy overall.